a video review of the Mark Levinson Integrated Amplifier number 383. Uh, this is probably from the early 2000s vintage um, from Mark Levinson, one of their earliest integrated amplifiers. As you guys probably know, an integrated amplifier is essentially uh, two units in the same box, a preamp and an amplifier. Um, it allows you to get um, very similar performance as separates, but uh, at a quite a, a cost reduction since uh, both the preamp and the amplifier will share the power supply and chassis and a lot of the circuitry. So it's a great way to get into, for example, a Mark Levinson piece without spending $10,000. Um, this particular um, integrated is rated at 100 watts per channel, but on our test bench, we got certainly about 10 to 15% higher than that. Um, it has um, some pretty nice features, including the ability to uh, name the inputs. As you can see here, someone's named uh, third input as a DAC, the fourth as a phono, and the fifth sonos. I understand there is no phono section in here. You'll need to have a separate phono preamp if you're going to hook up a turntable. Um, continuing with the controls, we've got an intensity control for dimming the display so it doesn't keep you up at night. A setup button that lets you name inputs and gain and all sorts of uh, parameters. Um, here's a balance um, attenuator for left and right channels and then a mute button. Um, it has a, a power button for its main power supply and then a standby button to put it into sort of like a sleep mode. That way the circuitry, the critical audio circuitry stays engaged and warmed up um, while turning off the outputs and the display. On the back, uh, it's got some really nice handles. You can manage it, it's about 60 kilograms, so it's not a, not a light piece of equipment. The, uh, this one in particular is model number, or serial number 1699. I'm not sure where that sits in their lineup or their age. Um, for speaker connectors, there are these pretty unique uh, wing nuts uh, that I've only seen on Mark Levinson gear. Uh, they're really nice uh, and easy to, to put some good torque on your spade lugs. Uh, if you wanted to use bananas, you'd have to use an adapter. Um, so I'd strongly suggest a uh, speaker cable with a spade lug. Moving down, we see um, a set of uh, two sets of balanced inputs, which is kind of generous for, uh, for a preamp of this price range. And then three additional inputs, uh, single ended RCAs for connecting other equipment like a phono preamp, uh, a CD player, or uh, maybe a Sonos Connect, as you can see on the front panel. Here are some communication uh, connections for uh, home automation in case you want to control it from a home automation system like Savannah or Crestron. And then some control ports for other Mark Levinson gear possibly a DAC or a CD player. Uh, some triggers, probably 12 volt triggers for turning things on and off remotely and an infrared input in case you want to put this away in a cabinet. Uh, and the removal of the power cord. Uh, this is obviously a 120 volt, 60 hertz unit. Uh, looking back all the way around, uh, the top cover, let's talk about condition. The top cover is in real nice shape. I don't see really anything significant on it. The front face plate, uh, it's also in, in good shape. I would rate it maybe a seven. There's a tiny little scuff here. And the volume control end of the selector here has a little scratch on it. The only thing to point out cosmetically is the, the heat sinks. Um, they are an anodized black and um, some of the heat sinks from Mark Levinson from this era tended to turn to like a dark purple over time, sort of a fading, probably a chemical reaction between the aluminum and the anodizing. So this one has, um, uh, it's presentable, but it does have some purplish tone to the heat sinks. I imagine that once you put this in a cabinet or on a shelf, you probably wouldn't notice it from this particular angle. Um, so it's in fairly good condition, but not perfect. Uh, Performance-wise, it's, it's spot on. We've tested this for quite a few hours at its full power. It clips nicely and gently and protects itself from damage. Uh, the total harmonic distortion was within acceptable limits. And uh, all the operations, I'm sorry, all the 
all the knobs and switches are quiet and, and noise free. So it's in tip top shape. Uh, the remote um, is also in fairly good shape. Um, fits nicely in your hand. It's a, it's a really nice feeling remote. Um, and these toggles for both select and volume are, are very usable. Uh, the standby button and again, duplicate of just about everything on the front panel. Super cool, heavy, made out of properly cast uh, aluminum. Uh, we don't have the manual for this unit, but you can download it online. And we do have an amazing packing process that would ensure that this arrives at your home uh, safely and in one piece. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.